Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Sensational Girls. It's your girl, Angelica, and I upload every Wednesday. If only I was really good at editing and I can make like gunshots. Pew, 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 pew. Anyways, my hair is a mess, so I guess I could just put it up in a ponytail. Because this is going to be a serious 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 video and let's just go back into time to nine year old me brown hair frizzy as can be always put in a ponytail or a braid because I didn't know how else to can do my hair because it's when I started doing it by myself so, this was around April, was April, April 2009, probably like 20 something or earlier than that. And it was my cousin's baptismal, I guess that's when baptized, is when she gets baptized. And she lives next door, so it's like, oh, whatever, you know, go when we want, leave when we want, get drunk, party hard party hard <laughs> but that day nobody partied hard well from anybody in my house nobody did my mom was her godmother and my father was her godfather and let's just say things got a little bit violent in the jumper or the bouncy house it got violent and your girl Ended up in the hospital at nine years old with a broken femur bone. I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I have a scar on my thigh of my right leg. Um, I've had two surgeries on that leg, but I've had a total of three surgeries. The second, third surgery was on my arm right here. I still have a scar. I don't think you guys can see it's kind of it's pretty tiny okay but we're not talking about that scar we're talking about the one on my leg the giant one the one that makes me so insecure to wear shorts shorter than my butt so i can hang my butt cheeks out like all the other girls in the world i can't i'm too insecure about my thighs because of that stupid scar and because i got stretch marks as well yeah I got pretty fat after I broke my leg because I couldn't do anything. But let's go to when I broke it. I'm skipping everything. Okay. So we were in the jumper. I was there with the neighbors because they live in apartments and we were jumping in the jumper. It was all cool. So this one kid wanted to fight with my little brother and me being me was going to fight him back. That's my little bro, you know, I'm gonna beat your ass if you hit my brother. Cause we're gonna fight. We are going to fight, okay? Okay. So this kid was about to do some WWE pro shit on me in a jumper that carries your weight. While these motherfuckers over there in WWE are professional athletes that can do this automatically. And they'll, I'm shiny, and they'll bounce when they need a bounce and flip when they need a flip i'm nine years old and i am not on wwe doing this shit okay i'm no brie bella nikki bella sheamus anybody i'm none of them i'm not even john cena because you can see me can't you you can see me right then i'm not john cena because you can't see him so he kicks me from behind, and when you kick somebody from behind in the WWE world, they flip to their back, or and they're fine, right? Uh, I wasn't fine. I passed out. I woke up, and I swear my leg looked like a fucking doll's leg. It looked stuffed. It was so stuffed. Okay, so... Your, arm, your leg's like this, and it's your bone, your knee, right? 
because I can't show you my leg right now. Okay, so let's just say it was folded all the way up like this to my hip. My foot was touching my motherfucking hip. It was touching my hip. That's how this boy broke it. And it's my right leg. So, yeah, this is it. I can't bend my arm like back like how he fucking broke it. But it fucking was like my hand was right here. Like, just saved. It was on my motherfucking hip. I woke up. I think I passed out for like a couple seconds. Because I remember it was black. My mom said she heard me screaming, my leg, my motherfucking leg. Okay, I wasn't saying like that. I was probably sounding like the guy from Spongebob was like, my leg. You know, you know that guy? <laughs> hey, so he broke my leg and they were scared. Bitch, what did you expect was going to happen? Was I going to be magically okay ready to fucking do an rko on your ass bitch no i was passed out on the floor i was passed out on the floor well not the floor the bottom of the jumper the jumper whatever yeah and one of the neighbors on the other side because there's another apartment beside this apartment next to us and he was telling me don't fall asleep don't fall asleep don't fall asleep. Look at the sky. Look for some stars. Bitch, it's daytime. When are the stars coming out? I don't see them. Please tell me. I didn't see no stars, so I didn't fall asleep. My mom rushed. She said she just knew something happened. She heard me screaming, and she ran Mama Bear mode on fleek. My grandpa ran to the jumper. He told everybody, get the fuck out. Bitches, get the fuck out. Bye, bye, bye. Because your boy over here broke your girl's leg. My uncle, rest in peace, he actually broke the same bone I did, but he was jumping off the bed. And he had to wear a full body cast. But I didn't. Anyways. Um... My grandpa repositioned my leg into place so it was like normally bent like this, you know? This is my leg here. Um, and he was holding it. Then the paramedics came in. They were like, wee, 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 paramedics, hello, we're here, we're here to help you, my girl. Okay, I'm being a little bit too weird with this story. Because I'm not trying to freak out and have PTSD about this tonight because you know your girl suffers from it. Okay. So the paramedics come in, my grandpa's in the jumper with me, and then this little girl, the little sister of the kid that broke my leg, went inside the jumper and started jumping around, and it hurt. She was moving, my leg was moving, pain, pain, pain. Ooh, if only you guys could feel it, I don't want you guys to feel it actually, I hope you guys never feel it. Okay, so paramedics come in, they couldn't get inside the jumper because... Well, there's like, it's too small, you know, it's a small hole. It's for children, not for grown men. So yeah, they cut it open the door, they cut it open wider, they put in that little board shit that they carry you in, put it in, put me on it, they're like, you okay? No, I'm dying, help me now. So they pulled me out, my mom was freaking out, my dad was... Probably getting drunk. My grandpa was freaking out. And also was my sister. She was actually at the house. And she just heard something going on. She probably heard me yelling. And she was like, oh, hell no. And she ran over there. And she was like, oh, my God. And then we went inside the ambulance. The ride in the ambulance was freaking horrible. They were speeding. And they went over a bump. It's like a crack. And the blood's trying to rush through. So it goes. And then it goes, I don't know where you just get this really sharp pain. Like, <sighs> like somebody stabbing you. What? Ooh. And so every time they would stop or something, it would hurt. Okay, so now we're at the hospital. And we had to wait for a freaking room. 
and I was still in pain and I was going to go to sleep and I was going to pass out and they kept telling me no don't go to sleep don't go to sleep don't go to sleep don't go to sleep so I didn't go to sleep we went inside into a room we finally got a room my sister was like, hey, yo, they got movies. Let me bring you some movies so you can relax, you know, freaking out. They fucking put the I... Sorry, I'm cussing a lot. They put the IV inside me. Oh, no, they didn't even put it right there. They put it in my hand. I still have, like, the little hole from where they... Oh, that was on the side. Still have the little hole from where they put it. And a little dot. Um, And once that IV went in... Relaxation. Relax. 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 Everything was funny to me. That is a really scary drug, guys. Don't do that. Unless you're in pain and you're in the hospital. Then they're probably going to make you do it. It was so... F Everything was so funny. We were watching Beauty and the Beast. And it was a part with the snow and the Beast Falls. I was laughing my head off. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. And nothing was ever funnier than anything. It was the funniest thing, man. It's so funny. So every time I watch Beauty and the Beast and that scene comes up, I can just remember laughing my butt off like, my God. Like I was watching Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. After that, we had to leave that hospital and go to the one where my mom actually had our insurance. You guys probably hear my saliva. That's why I talk a lot. I get really caught in mouth, bro. Okay, so we're being moved to a different hospital, and it's a new part of the hospital. And the first night was pretty scary. I didn't go to sleep till like really late. I was there in the hospital. My mom says for a couple weeks, but it felt like months. It felt like months. It was like a couple weeks, and then I got surgery, and they didn't know what they were gonna do because it the crack was so close to my growth plate, and I was still growing. Your girl is. Five, five and have been five five for over two years now anyways so i'm like five five okay so once they put they didn't know where to put they didn't know if they were going to put screws or uh aluminum or something it was like a rod i don't remember what it was made out of i think it was made out of aluminum a rod into my leg so my mom told him do whatever you think is good. Do whatever you gotta do. Just do it. If they would have hit my growth plate, I would have one leg longer than the other. And I would have to get special shoes so I can walk. Thankfully, they didn't. And I came out awesome. And I grew and grew and grew. It was like about... A couple months or a year later, I had to get surgery again to get the rods removed. So I was in a cast for a while. Once And they removed the cast after my leg fully healed. And I had to learn to walk again. I taught myself how to walk after they removed my cast. But I was limping, lim limping for a while. I also had to do some homeschooling. Because I couldn't go to school. Because the school, the my class was on upstairs and I couldn't go so I had to do it at home and I was in a wheelchair I had a walker oh, sorry guys I'm tired I had a walker um so after that I had to get surgery again and they had to reopen the scar that I had which makes it harder for it to go away after the scar was reopened, I had to get surgery, and they removed the rod, and they actually let us keep it. My mom said she was going to make a bracelet out of it, but she doesn't even know where it is anymore. It's, like, gone. Gone, bro. It's freaking gone. Hopefully one day it pops up, you know? That'd be cool. Show it to my kids, you know? Hey, yo, this was inside my body. <laughs> um... Well, now I'm here, 17, going to be 18 in, like, two weeks. Running, sort of, walking, sort of. <laughs> but I'm no longer in pain. Um, 
yeah thanks for watching guys see you guys next week bye